eight thirty in the morning, and it's ninety some degrees outside. Ain't that about a bitch? Woo wee! You know, it's day thirty-eight, thirty-nine, somewhere in that ballpark. It's not forty yet. It's one of the numbers before forty. And I would like to talk about a little bit of the milestones we've hit. We've cleared a month. We've cleared five weeks, actually, of walking every day. And uh, I'd like to go ahead and just throw some stats out there. I've walked over 80 miles. And during that time, I've I mean, burned, burned 16,000 calories, averaging 200 calories per mile. And 16,000 calories equals to 4.57 pounds that I've walked off, or walked off the extra weight I normally would walk. So, on average, let's say I walk 80 miles a month, I'm going to lose upwards to 60 pounds a year just from walking. Not bad. Throw some diet in there, you're good to go. But, I'll talk to you guys in a minute. You might be thinking to yourself, man, Jordy. Um, 4.57 pounds is not much. I expected, you know, world's difference. I mean, you lost 40 pounds at Kyle's house. Well, this is where eating comes into play. Um, uh, 4.57 pounds, it, you, you lose about 60 pounds. Let's go and wrap a nice round number, make it 5 pounds. So, 5 pounds extra a month over 12 months. 5 times 12 is 60. That's 60 pounds right there obviously a depreciating factor because as you lose weight the uh, the walks use less energy to actually do the same thing this is based off 400 pounds and um, <clears throat> so let's think about eating for example some other things I've done is I've stopped drinking soda for the most part a guy I used to drink somewhere in the lines of two sodas on average a day and I'm gonna use the 12 ounce cans as a reference, that's 190 calories per can. That's 380 calories for a soda. That's something like 2,500 calories a week. And um, if you do it by year, it's uh, something like 138,000 calories a year. And if you do a pound, which is 3,500 3, calories, divide that into 138, 200. It's 39.7 something pounds a year that you have to burn off from just drinking soda. So right there, those two changes alone, those two changes, walking two miles a day and stopping soda, if I could continue, that's 100 pounds right there. That's without changing my eating habits. That's without, you know, stopping eating exact speeds. That's without stopping pizza and things of that nature. Because... I look at drinks as empty calories because they don't fill you up. They don't they don't have lasting substantial things. All they do is give you sugar, caffeine, and sodium. That's all they do. Sugar, caffeine, and sodium. You can get that anywhere else. But now, let's say you replace that Zaxby's chicken dinner. If you're a man like me, I like to go to Zaxby's. I like to get a buff plate. I like it large. I like the fries. I get two pieces of Texas toast. You know, five, six chicken tenders in it. Hot sauce all over it. That's what I dig. That's how I get down. It's 1,400 calories. And if you throw a sugary drink with that, right on top of that, you're looking at a whole another animal. You're looking at $300, worth of, 300 calories worth of soda. I must say dollars. And now you got a 1,700 calorie meal. And you might eat that plus something else. That's how you become 400 pounds. If you take that meal, and now you say it's fast food. Let's say you switch that one meal with like a, I don't know, a salad from Wendy's. Wendy's barbecue ranch salad, 580 calories. There's 1,500 calories right there, dude. The, the math's there. You can't help but win. Weight loss is all in dieting. Things you change in your diet, they add up. It might not seem like much today. It might not seem like much tomorrow. Every time you say no to uh that bowl of ice cream, but every time you turn down that Coke and every time you decide to eat good over eating bad, even if it's even if it's twice out of five times, you've done something. You've took calories away that you normally wouldn't take in. 
And it's all about making the right choices. And that's the path I'm trying to walk on. Make those right choices. And it's working. It is. It's working phenomenally. I'm on the path that if I can stick with this, I can lose 150 pounds this year. This year. These next 11 months, 150 pounds. And that brings me to the topic for today. Passion. And I will talk about passion when I get back to you on a... I'm doing the walk backwards today, so let's go ahead and hit the stop sign. Hey guys, let's talk about passion. Well, passion. Well, why do we want to talk about that? Uh, before we get into that, I want to say something along the lines of what I just spoke about before. <sighs> about being strong. And just pushing forward. Remember, you can do much more by committing yourself to something. Be it, be it walking. Be it doing certain things. Only you have the power to change yourself. I found myself in a rut. Um, depending on other people to help change me for a while. And it wasn't until I was by myself that I realized that I must stand on my own two feet. And the only person responsibility for me is me. It's not that, you know, depending on somebody else is a bad thing. Depending on other people is a good thing. Sometimes it's easier to move a couch with two people. And it's more, it's, it's better to move a couch with two people than it is to try to move it on your own. But, some battles you have to fight for yourself. And I wanted to speak on the lines of passion. I'm going to try to keep this short because I spoke almost five or six minutes on the other topic passion is something that's very hard to come by you'll see it in relationships you'll see it in businesses you'll see it in things like i'm doing right here walking determination how many times has a crackhead said that's the last hit of crack he's going to take how many times have i said that this last is the last trip at mcdonald's i'm going to take the rest of my life how many times have you put something off till tomorrow and that's why I put that thing at the end of my last video. You're not promised tomorrow. It's up to you to take advantage of what you're given with today and stop worrying about tomorrow. We live in a system that it might sound like a conspiracy theory can collapse at any moment or any second. We have no control over it. You're living a life based off somebody else's ability to run things and when that's being said all you really have to depend off is the people that you love around you and you take one day at a time today's a good day i'm going to go to bed with a roof over my head i have plenty of food in my house and i'm feeling good and i'm able to walk two miles why is that important well that's important because i used to take advantage or take things for granted that didn't, that mattered a lot, but I didn't think they mattered a lot. The first one was the ability to walk. And I talked about it in length a couple videos ago about a MRSA infection I had. And I lost the ability to walk. It was just for like a couple days, but it, it struck home how big that is. What is it like not to be able to walk? What is it like not to have your hands? And I've, I've been blessed and given the opportunities to meet wonderful people. I got to meet a couple of my childhood heroes and uh, I got to meet a lot of people through YouTube. One of them being Chuck. Um, Chuck is, uh, Chuck is a, a he, he is paralyzed from his neck down, but he's a better video editor than me. He has a better outlook on life than me. And he gets more done probably during the day than I do. And I have the ability to use my entire body, regardless if I'm morbidly obese or not. I bet Chuck would trade 70 years of his life for 10 years of my body. All day. And he wouldn't hesitate about it. What I'm trying to say is don't take things for granted, dude. And don't make yourself replaceable. Because when you take things for granted, 
and you and you, and you kind of check out and do things that you normally feel like is impossible, be it whatever. Say you're in a failing marriage, and you look at her and you don't like her no more, and you think her hair, she doesn't do her hair right. Think about this. What if you didn't have anybody there that loved you, washed your clothes, made you, you know, made you something to eat, or vice versa? It could be the other way around. Whatever it is, don't take things in life for granted. Because nothing is guaranteed forever. Nothing. This bush well, probably won't be here next week. Eventually, a lot, eventually a tractor's going to come by and cut it down. That sign will eventually rust into the ground. This pavement will eventually erode. Nothing's nothing is indefinite. Everything is finite. So I kind of lost the track of passion, but that's what I wanted to talk about, guys. It's hot. I need a shower. So I'm going to head on home now. Thank you guys for watching my video.